So I'm going to show you how to make a gorgeous dish using mackerel, clams and chorizo and a freaker salad that has peppers, lots of fresh herbs, um, walnuts, pumpkin seeds and feta. And what you want to do first of all is start cooking the freaka. So for that, I'm just going to saute off a bit of onion, garlic and ginger. I must admit at home I always use red onions. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of white fleshed onions for a reason I don't quite understand, but I find the sweetness of red onions really delicious. So just slice it as thinly as you can. Some garlic is always good. And then some ginger, just peel it, and then you want to cut that into a julienne, which sounds like a really scary word for some people, but it's literally just matchsticks. So it's not as scary as it seems. So once the oil's nice and hot, add the onions, garlic and ginger. Actually, I think some cumin might be quite nice in there. Just puts cumin seeds in the hole. And then coriander seeds have got a beautiful flavour, but they're quite large, so it's always good to pound them up a little bit first. Put them in. And while that's cooking, it's time to char the peppers. So you don't need to have a barbecue for this, you can just use a gas hob. You can also do it under a, under a um, grill in the oven. But if you've got a gas hob like this, it's just simply a matter of putting them on the flame. But otherwise, just turn the flame on and quite literally just sit your peppers on top. Then for the freaker, you want to rinse it. Freaker is a type of wheat, it's got a smoky flavour. Uh, it's produced slightly differently depending where you get it from, but literally the fields are set on fire before the wheat has actually dried out completely and it takes on a smoky flavour. It's lovely stuff. It's like bulgur wheat or uh, and you can cook it in the same way that you cook risotto rice. So just give it a good rinse. The onions have just begun to caramelise. You don't want to cook them down too much because you want a bit of that fleshiness in there. But once they're ready, add your freaker. And then, give it a stir. Add some water. And there are two ways to cook freaker. One way is to cook it like risotto, adding water or stock very slowly as you go. The other way, which is a bit quicker if you've got a lot else happening, you can just make sure that you've got enough water on top of the freaker that is the depth of the mixture beneath. So the onions and freaker are this deep, you want that much water on top. Bring it to the boil, put it on, simmer for 10 minutes and then turn the heat off. Drop it down to a simmer. And that's good. The peppers are ready to come off. So you can see they're nicely blackened. Just put them into a bowl with a bit of cling film and just to put that to one side and it'll cool and the steam that's captured in the bowl is going to help you peel the peppers later on. So now it's time to turn the oven on and for fish it's good to cook it at a high temperature if it's, a, if it's something like a mackerel you can cook it at a high temperature for a small amount of time rather than a long time like a long braise. So I'm going to put this at 190 on the fan bake. I'm going to be adding some nuts and seeds to my freaker salad, so get yourself a pan. Just get a bit more oil. You'll see the oil is now changing colour, it's becoming quite a dark green. It's the lovely colour coming out of the seeds themselves. Once that's ready, just break in some walnuts. You can use almonds for this, you could use, if, if you don't eat nuts, you could use some sunflower seeds or something else. But it's all just to get some lovely crunch in the salad itself. So for the mackerel, I'm going to be adding some chorizo, which is a pork sausage, spicy sausage from Spain. Um, if you don't eat pork or you don't eat meat, 
You can just skip it, but if you do have smoked paprika, pimenton, then you can add that and it adds a really lovely um, flavour, background flavour to the mackerel itself. So with the chorizo, just, you can slice it, you can cut it into chunks. I tend to cut it lengthways into four. And then cut these into chunky dice. I'm going to cook this with a bit of butter and olive oil and also the fat from the chorizo, which is pork fat. It all, it all builds up to a lovely, rich flavour. It's really good. So just put some butter in and some olive oil. The chorizo. While that's sizzling, you just want to prepare your mackerel. And for this, it's, I've uh, taken the guts out. It's just a matter of score through it in three places, the thickest part of the fish. And this helps the flavours come in, but it also allows the heat to get into the fish quicker. And that means that it'll, it'll take less cooking time. So got some thyme from the garden. And with that, uh, keep it nice and rustic. Get this sizzling away. And the other herb I'm going to put in there is dill, which is lovely. I, I never liked dill until I started going to Turkey, and I've developed a great love of it. It's a beautiful, especially with fish, but it's a really lovely flavour. So with that, that's sizzling away. And what you do here is you're almost using the, the herbs uh, and the trito as a trivet for the fish itself. So press the fish on and that stops it sticking because you'll find if you were just to put fish in a tray and you take it out all the skin sticks to it so that this provides a bit of a barrier just give it a minute season it with a little bit of salt and pepper then you want to add some tomatoes about three tomatoes should do the trick cut those into large chunks tip them in The fish should turn. And then this goes into the oven. Okay, so just check whether the freak is cooked or not. You can just. It's just got a little bite to it, which is perfect. Turn the heat off and leave the lid on. And then about 10 minutes that'll be ready. Time to add some clams. Samphire. And the moisture from the fish and the tomatoes is going to help steam this a little bit. So now it's time to chop the peppers. It's simply a matter of taking off the black charred skin, which you can rub off with your fingers. And what I like to do is just chop them lengthways heart into two and then cut them into reasonably big chunks and then what I want in here are a lot of herbs, a lot of fresh herbs so I've got some more dill, some mint and some parsley and with the mint what you want to do is the mint stalk isn't very nice to eat, it's almost bitter so just pull the leaves off, the dill just chop some of that into chunks as well. And then with your flat parsley, got it. so just tear that off. So in here I've got my walnuts and my pumpkin seeds, the oil that they were cooked in, the red peppers, and lots of herbs. I'm going to put some feta cheese in as well. Sheep's milk feta. This is nice and salty. Just crumble that up in big chunks. bit of lemon zest and juice, just grate it in, then juice it, and 
And the frica is now added to your salad. I'm just going to use some pomegranate. And I never cut a pomegranate through from one side to the other because the pith in the middle of the pomegranate is quite bitter. And when you cut it through, you drag that bitterness through. So just prise it open. Break it into quarters. And then it's just a matter of poking these out. And that is your frica salad. And the fish looks ready. So let me go have that. So you can see here, the fish is just cooked through. It's nice and opaque through the center. And then to plate up, it's pretty simple. You've got a gorgeous salad and a really, really tasty mackerel with clams and samphire. So just put a bit of your salad on. And then you're going to have to use your fingers a little bit here because the fish are a bit delicate. You could use a big spatula if you want to, but otherwise just lift it up with your finger and then take some of the chorizo and the tomato, just sprinkle that on top. Fabulous. So there you go. That's mackerel and clams cooked with samphire on a frica, pepper, feta and nut salad. It's delicious.